everyone okay so i'm coming on oh, to share my latest journal that i have for sale this journal is 25 pound um in uk and international it is paypal friends and family only and international if anybody international wants to buy it i will work out the postage and like the conversion rate and things it's an enveloped junk journal it is six and a half by nine inches i have used um, an envelope for the cover with some craft card and some digital images i can't remember who i got this kit from um, i have vintaged up all the edge of the envelope that's the back of it it's got lace down the back and inside um, it's got a satin ribbon closure I think is it eight to eight pages front and back can't really remember but there's a lot you can see it's quite a fat journal so open it up this is the front inside of the front cover I've done stenciling and things this is um, first edition paper sorry if I'm trying to fit it on it's it's quite a big journal made a pocket it's got a tag vintage looking tag in it for you to write like this book belongs to and things crochet trim made a wee pocket here and it's got some of these beautiful vintage um, ladies on it this kit is actually called um southern avenue i can't remember but i will put it in the description box is it antique avenue i think so so anyway that's the first image then you open it up to this page i've made a wee tuck spot here it's all stamped stenciling postcard so i really redid my junk journal supplies to make this journal to make it look quite junky um so there'll be bits maybe you have noticed bits that people have sent to me um so yeah so paris paper sweet paris paper then i put in these dovecraft notelets on this side some punch in a little envelope some more I'm going to stand up and get a sword back. More images here. Doily. This is a page from a vintage simplicity book. Envelope. You can put things in. That's just, uh, I just um, stenciled that. Coffee dyed paper. This is a um, paper clip, all the paper clip that was sent to me. And this is an envelope. Graph coffee dyed paper. So I've tried to keep like a vintage theme going all the way through this beautiful book page. This is a vintage book and it's the Focaria flower that I was telling you about. And ferns on the back. And this we envelope one and in here we've got a stamped postcard. It just goes back in there. Some ephemera, I just made it into a wee tuck and I made this stamped piece of ephemera. Some more punch in. Some more images, beautiful vintage looking bag. And in here I made this wee postcard. Space to journal on the back. And that just slips. Sorry, I'm trying to do it from above and I can't see properly. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to hold it up so I can see it. <laughs> Sorry guys. There we go. It just slips in there. Some more stenciling. Another wee tuck that I made. I just collaged that up. This is a wee envelope. Looks like a vintage ledger. Then we've got this wee bit in here. And this, I just collaged this up as well. This is a Terry Wood flip out. Coffee dyed paper. I'm not doing a very good job of showing this journal, am I? That was some of the beautiful sticker paper that Sylvia sent me. I made another pocket. This is an Artie Mays mason jar and I backed it onto some coffee dyed graph paper. Just some lovely fabric.
another doily, more stamping, more images. This was, um, this is a, a envelope. This is another envelope made to my book page. Somebody sent that to me and it's got a napkin on it. It's beautiful. I can't remember who sent it, but it's gorgeous. This, some more vintage book paper. Music sheet. More doily. That's an envelope that somebody sent to me. Just some more fabric. another one of those paper clips and I just clipped on an envelope. This is some of my music paper that I made, stamped it out and I just made it with the Paris theme. I enjoy making that music paper actually, it's fun to make. And I've just clipped it on there for extra journal and space. In this wee bag there is an envelope. Again, that was sent to me. I can't remember who by, guys. I put everything like that inside my um, junk journal and bag. So I don't know who it is that sends me all the... And I'll forget over time. I made this tuck spot. I made this journal and card. Here, I just made a wee top spot. And this is some of my embossed paper card I, and I just stenciled that and put some stickers on it to make a wee journal card. In this side you get, I made a wee book. Now this has got a, a magnet on the front. I've just collaged it up. So you've got your journal and space there and then inside envelope and you've got some paper. So it's a cute wee book and then it opens up at the back again. That just goes in there. Some more of that vintage book paper, another tag that I made and I made it into a tuck spot and I made this journal and tag. This one is another one of Terry Wood's um, flip outs. I just put one of these beautiful stickers on it that Steffi sent to me and that opens right up to A4. Beautiful punching stenciling. Oops. That is the other side of the envelope so you can put stuff in. This is another pocket that I made and another one of these wee books. This is made from um, wedge packets so you can put things in both sides. And I've just made it so that that goes over the front like that. And that's the back of it. I just sat that in that wee pocket. And this is the back page. I made this pocket here and I've just put loads of nice fabric and things on it and stenciled up the tag. And then in the very back, I've actually still to cover this piece with a piece of paper. So that won't be like that, that will be covered up. Obviously it's the back of the envelope and I've stenciled it all. And I've put in a writing board, a right thick, I mean, I think this must be at least 700 um, grams thick now, GSM thick. So I've put that in so that you can put that in between your pages. And right, and that just slips in the back and I'll put a nice decorative piece down that edge. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this journal. I think it's quite junky looking and it's different to the other journals that I made. So I really do love it. I'm actually working on another two envelope junk journals just because... They were so much fun. So like I said, this is £25, guys. And it will be... The UK postage will be 3 95 because I would send it recorded delivery. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll leave my email in the description box. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.